Hi, this is Dagmar Wood, and I'm starting a new series called Discovering Platt County with Dagmar. And this is our first installment. I'm really excited about this. I'm coming to you from downtown Parkville, Missouri, and we are here. This is Main Street, Parkville. The railroad tracks are down there. It's a little bit loud. There is a truck right across the street. But this is the Parkville Artisan Studio, and I want to introduce you to a really cool gal in there named Trisha. So let's come in here. Parkville Artisan Studio, 111 Main Street. Here we go. And here is my friend, Trisha Says. How are you doing, Trisha? Fabulous. Dagmar, how about you? I'm doing great. You are an awesome gal. I want to introduce uh, everybody to you because you are kind of a culmination of so many talents. You are not just an artist and an entrepreneur, but kind of like a life coach and just an awesomely talented woman who encourages people. So I wanted to talk to you about what's going on in your shop today. You're way too kind, Dave. Uh, <laughs> way too kind. <laughs> talk to me about your studio. How did well, you get started? Why I'll did you choose? I'll tell you what. Some of the things that we have here in the shop, well, all of the things we have here in the shop are made by people just like you and me. This is a place where... I don't know, local artists, moms, dads, soccer moms, and, and coaches, and uh, teachers uh, can really have an, an, a venue to put their creative side out there and kind of inspire others with it too. Come on, let's take a look around. All right, great. Show us around. What, uh, we've got artists, 40 to 50 artists in here uh, doing pottery. We've got, uh, uh, of course, painters, acrylics, oils, watercolors, photographers, jewelry makers, you can't believe. And really, it's, it is. It's just a bunch of friends of mine. And when I decided to open the store, the phone started ringing and here is uh, are people that I've known for years and had no idea the fabulous work they do. Mm -hmm. uh, and now we have a venue where they can sell their work and they can make more and be more creative and inspire others to do the same thing. How wonderful. That's awesome, mm -hmm. that's awesome. And there's some people who come in and they might say, you know, I'm not really an artist. I don't mm -hmm. have that, that, that talent or anything like that. And you really bring it out of people. I honestly Talking love to that. hear people say that. Yeah. Because when people say that, it's, it's not really them. It's all the people that have told them over the years how they can't do this or they can't do that. Or they, they try to create something and somebody kind of looks at it like, mm, I don't know. It's all those people saying things in their head. When they come in here, my goal is to let them know that none of that's true, especially not here. No one in here ever looks at anyone's work and says, oh, I don't know about that. We look at it and find the loveliness of it and help bring the loveliness of it out in that person because it's there we just need to uncover it you know with the kids it's easier <laughs> the kids don't have all that stuff lying around <laughs> in their heads they haven't been told they're terrible with things they right. haven't been told all the awful things that some of us grown-ups have and they haven't beat themselves up at night you know how we do that right yeah we sit in bed at night and go oh why did I say that thing oh I should have done better oh we're, we're our own worst critics right yeah <laughs> but that's kids sure. don't even have that yet kids go to bed at night and go oh, I had a really fun time playing <laughs> they don't have any of it so when I teach the kids I honestly learn from them as much as I teach them and I take what I learn from them and I give it to the grown-ups here that's Which awesome. Is is one of my favorite thing, ways to work things. Kids can teach us so much, right? Right. Wow. Right. We can't beat that. Plus, plus when the kids come in here, they create this atmosphere. I mean, you felt it, right? When you come in here, this place feels fabulous. I can't take credit for it because when I walk in the door and I'm in a bad mood, all of a sudden I feel better. So I can't take all the credit. But when people come in here, they just feel calm and at peace and wonderful. And that has to do with Parkville too. Right. Um, this area, Platte County, the people here are so wonderful. Even what is supposed to be my competition here, right. they will they will take their clients and walk them directly into my shop right. and point out the thing that that customer was looking for that they couldn't find over there. How wonder, I mean, how wonderful is that? Really? Yeah, yeah. Uh, we just take care of each other. We work together. That's part of the reason I'm here. Right. Because we start with a community that works really well together. Right. Then we bring in a business that... The community is looking for everyone's looking for art classes for themselves for their kids everyone loves these local art things these great little gift ideas mm -hmm. if you take all that put it into that great community and into a cute little town like Parkville and you bring in the wonderful clients I have that give this place such a great atmosphere the kids the grown-ups it all adds up to really something wonderful 
Yep. It sure does. Mm -hmm. It sure does. You want to just show us around? Yeah, come on around. Come on around with me. Um, not only do we have the gallery end of it, over right. here where we have all kinds of local artists, back here in the back of the shop, we have classes galore. Just about anything you, you could want to do. We, we haven't figured out how to weld in here yet, but um, other than that, we teach it. Um, if somebody calls me and says, we saw something cool on Pinterest, we want to, we want to do it, I'll, I'll teach a class on it. Right. Um, if someone calls up and says, hey, my girlfriends and I want to get together and do a really easy art project that we really can spend time just visiting together with, come on in. I got some great projects for you. Cute little rings, jewelry. Um, we do, the, of course, the wine and paint classes. We do the barnwood sign classes. Mm -hmm. Really, the pottery wheels are the superstar. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody loves these things, kids. Go oh, berserk fun. over this. Not just kids, adults too. Had some ladies come in and do a, a mimosa and pottery wheel Saturday morning. Oh, how <laughs> fun is that? They had a ball. Um, and everybody kind of starts on an even playing field with yeah. pottery wheels. I start kids and adults in just about exactly the same way. Uh, I'm a little sillier with kids most of the time. <laughs> Not always. <laughs> um, so teaching all these classes, kind of inspiring people, um, and a lot of my students that start pottery wheel, painting, is simple classes, private lessons. It's not long until they start believing in themselves enough that we are end up selling their work out in the gallery end too. That's wonderful. That's, That's kind of wonderful. Fun. And you have seasonal types of classes too, like you oh, had a wreath creating. Oh yeah, yeah, holiday wreaths we did. Um, we usually do an Easter egg decorating class, um, Father's Day, Mother's Day coming up. We do um, uh, Father's Day, Mother's Day gift workshops. Mm -hmm. So kids and grown-ups, everybody can come in and make really cool stuff to give us gifts, because still parents just love the homemade stuff better, especially when it's nice. Yeah. Right? right. <laughs> macaroni. We don't do macaroni. <laughs> Those are nice too. I have some. Right, right. Unless they want to paint macaroni or something. There you go. Awesome. Wonderful. So thank you so much. I really, is there anything else you'd like to share with us about your shop or, um, hey, there was this one artist that you were telling me about who was a painter and she had really low confidence when she first started oh. here and she, um, didn't even have any hardly paint to yeah. start off with and yeah she she's a really really wonderful girl and when she came in here to start taking not even necessarily lessons she just came in and worked in the studio kind of soaked up the atmosphere in here i don't really think i ever taught her a single thing about painting uh, all i did was kind of let her soak up this place teach her about what she's doing and and what she's worth that she's worth more than that and it's in there and she's worth letting it out um, her beginning painting six, eight months ago, um, I think the turtle painting there. Lovely right. painting. That's her <laughs> painting right there. I'm gonna, That's very I'm going to go yeah. grab one of her paintings that um, she's done recently. Okay, that sounds good. And we'll just walk around and look. Here's some of the pottery area. Lovely metal wall sculptures. Okay, let's see so what you got. So this girl absolutely lovely soul. I just adore her. I'm going to adopt her and make her my own. Um, <laughs> she, you know, she came in and she was painting some simple stuff. Nice, but simple. And six, eight months later, after learning how to really believe in herself, check out the stuff she's doing now. Oh, my word. Look at the lighting. She's so fantastic. Isn't she fabulous? And she's been fabulous her whole life. How many of you look back at pictures of yourself when you were in high school and go, I thought I was fat. You know what? You weren't, right? Do it right now, okay? Don't wait for another 20 years and look back and go, oh, I was pretty good. Or, boy, I wasn't as bad as I thought I was. Believe in yourself right now. Just go for it. Awesome. Awesome. Well, everybody, this is Trisha Saz from the Parkville Artisan Studio. I'm so excited to introduce you to her. If you have any ideas for future places to go or people to meet, please give me a, uh, an email at dagmar at kc.rr.com, dagmar at kc.rr.com, and I really appreciate you hanging with me as we discover Platte County with Dagmar. Bye!